Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Dr. Ahmed. I am working in UAE. And if you have not subscribed my channel yet, kindly do it now. Uh, I have started a series for medical residency program. And if you are interested in doing medical residency in UAE or uh, post graduation in UAE, then this video series is for you. Uh, in first video, I have discussed about the overall map and different uh, bodies involved in it and uh, today we will discuss the pre-entrance or entrance exam, whatever you want to call it and it is called Emory. I will discuss various aspects of it. If you have not seen my first video yet, kindly see that video and then come back. I will give you the link of that video in the description of this video. And uh, after watching that video, come here. If you have watched that video already, then continue watching it. And uh, uh, if you, at the end of the video, if you have any questions or any comments, you can ask anytime. There is comment section of YouTube channel and most of you also aware about the Facebook page of my channel. You are always welcome to ask any questions. And... Uh, Let's start. It doesn't matter which part of UA you want to start your residency and whatever licensing body will contact after passing this exam. There is only one single examination for all licensing bodies and the name of that examination is Emory. And this exam is conducted by University of Medicine and Health Sciences, Alain. Uh, Alain is an uh, area and it is part of Abu Dhabi. Okay, Abu Dhabi is one state and Alain is part of this area. Uh, so this university is in Alain. First you have to appear in an exam. The name of that exam is Emory. And Strix is the name of the same examination but now the name is changed. Okay, so the name of examination is Emory. But when you uh, go to the website of the university, both name will be there. Okay, some, in some parts they have written Emory and some where it is written Amstrex. E-M-S-T-R-E-X are the spelling of previous examination. And now it's Emory, E-M-R-E-E. -E. Uh, now I have opened the website of uh, this university in front of me. And the web address of this uh, uh, university is fmhsmeb.uaeu.ac.ae. Uh, I will give the link of this uh, website in description of this video as well. Uh, at first, you have to register on this website and this registration process is all online. After the registration, you will receive acknowledgement and uh, reference number. And this reference number will be used for all future communications. During this registration process, they will ask you to pay some fee. And this fee includes uh, for all the examination process for this website, not for the future uh, like licensing bodies and other things. Okay. For this examination and this website, you have to pay only once, including everything, and that will be 700 UAE dirham. AED is the abbreviation of uh, UAE dirhams. To know the exact amount uh, for, of this fee in your currency, you can use uh, Google. And uh, note down two things that this payment will be done by credit card only. That can be Visa or MasterCard, anything. And other thing is that this fee is non-refundable. If you don't appear in exam, if you have any problem, this fee is not refundable. 700 AET. Uh, now who is eligible to take this exam? All the international medical graduates uh, are eligible to take this exam. Uh, but you have to check that your college should be recognized. And uh, uh, internship of one year that is also called house job in several countries is must to start your residency 
let me clear one point here that eligibility criteria may include several other things when you will check for licensing bodies like DHA, MOH, HAD or DH uh, but that is second step here I will tell you only the criteria to appear in exam okay so you may not confuse it with second step after passing your exam when you will go to licensing body they, they may have other criteria that we will discuss in separate video here I will tell you only the criteria to appear in Emory exam first thing is that you should have a valid passport passport is must and this is your sole identity previously they were also asking for Emirates ID no it's not required at all because Emirates ID is only issued to the residents of UAE if you are on resident visa or you are local here then you are issued Emirates ID but if you are not resident here don't worry now they are not asking for Emirates ID for last two years you only have to have a, a passport valid passport and note down that the name on your passport will appear on your result card and it will go with you for rest of the all training process so make sure that uh, uh, the name on your passport is the same as on your documents because when you will go to next steps then they will ask you for some documents as well here we they will ask you only for uh, your uh, graduation and passport uh, i am emphasizing on this point because uh, in last month two three persons contacted me who has some problem with their name that was different uh, on their documents and passport so make sure that you should have a valid passport with proper name on it then uh, of course you are a medical graduate so you should have a medical graduation degree and to start your process uh, licensing process after this and for examination you should have 12 month internship that internship is also called house job one year house job or internship is necessary to start your medical residency and to appear in this exam the result will be electronic and it will be given you through web page and this result will also be sent to the licensing bodies where you have to register for yourself separately and this result come within 10 days and uh, it is valid for 24 months now few words about the pattern of examination pattern of examination is mcqs based mcqs as you already know is multiple choice question there will be four to five options for every question and there will be one correct answer for every question there uh, uh, there will be no not a single question with more than one correct options okay there will be one correct options uh, and there will be 120 MCQs total time duration will be 3 hours let me repeat 120 questions in 3 hours and it all will be MCQ based note a single point here that uh, sometimes you may have more than 120 questions don't worry about that sometimes they include sample questions in it and these sample questions doesn't have any weightage in your result this exam is usually conducted four times a year from december to march but uh, this uh, number of uh, the examinations can be more or less depends on the demand from the licensing bodies like moh dha and hard dh regarding passing percentage there is recent development that passing percentage is fixed at 65 percent but passing the exam doesn't mean that you will be selected for residency must because selection by licensing 
authorities is according to percentile what does it mean that if there are 100 candidates who has passed the exam who has more than 65 percent marks and they have 20 seats or 50 seats or 10 seats they will select the top candidates for that okay i hope this is simple out of those 100 passing candidates they will select the top candidates uh, according to the availability of seats there okay so uh, sometimes uh, what uh, doctors do that they appear in exam again and again you were allowed previously to sit in all exam in the same year but now recently no doubt they have changed this clause if you have passed the exam whatever is your percentage you cannot reappear in same academic year okay many people have confusion in this and they try to register for all the examination in same year even if you get success in registration they will not allow you to appear so if you pass the exam you cannot appear in the same academic year next year you can okay second thing is that if you cannot pass it then you can reappear okay in the same year to book your exam date the process will be online but uh, there is a hitch in it like if you are appearing in an examination that is being conducted in or 12th march of this year you will be given a certain time during which you can register for that exam you can uh, grab your seat for the exam uh, one thing is that seats are limited and they are always on first come first base okay if uh, you are applying early then you will get the seat if seats are finished whatever is your record or uh, anything you will not get seat in that examination okay and this registration time sometime is very limited and most of the time it is five days but for as i told you the date of 12th march uh, 12th march 2021 exam there are only two days given on the website it's open in front of me for exam being conducted on 12th march 2021 friday the enrollment will start on 5th march and it will end on 6th march so sometimes you can only have two days to register that so be vigilant be on your toes to register for the exam as i am making this video in 2021 you know these are pandemic days so covid negative test is must to appear in exam and it should be within last seven days as i have told you earlier that uh, obtaining visa for uh, uh, this examination to come here it is totally responsibility of you okay it is your responsibility to get visa and arrange accommodation anything if you doesn't get success in getting visa or any problem your fee is totally non-refundable okay one more thing regarding covid that uh, uh, at certain times there is problem of flights and entry into certain states this is again the responsibility of the candidate to check for that okay if on that day there is any restriction of flight or entry to certain state is restricted it will not be responsibility of embry conducting examination authority so what to do for that you have to check daily for rules and regulations because they are rapidly changing due to covid pandemic days you cannot cancel this exam because the fee is non-refundable if you cannot appear in exam due to any reason your fee will not be refunded and there is no option of cancelling this exam 
डू यू नीड आइट्स और अदर लैंग्वेज एग्जामिनेशन ऑफ इंग्लिश टू अपीयर इन दिस एग्जामिनेशन लेट मी क्लियर इट दैट आइल्ट्स और अदर एग्जामिनेशन आर नॉट क्राइटेरिया टू अपीयर इन द एमरी एग्जाम बट द लाइसेंसिंग अथॉरिटीज डज हैव सम क्राइटेरियाज दैट वी विल डिस्कस लेटर ऑन टू अपीयर इन दिस एग्जाम यू नीड नो आइल्ट्स सो दीज वर सम इम्पॉर्टेंट फैक्ट्स रिगार्डिंग द एमरी एग्जामिनेशन द वेबसाइट इज ओपन इन फ्रंट ऑफ मी एंड हैव चेकड इट एंड हैव टच ऑल द इम्पॉर्टेंट एरियाज i hope uh, i have cleared many of your doubts if you still have some questions do ask don't hesitate to ask in the comment section and uh, this this series is not stopped here i will make further videos i have a plan in my mind i have a map in my mind to touch the various areas of this medical residency exam if you have certain questions definitely ask so i can include them in future videos for this emery examination best of luck if you have decided to appear in it and stay connected because i am coming soon with an other video bye for today